Hello, my name is Haley Fong. I'm uh, one of the SOA technical lead in the IMS connectivity area. IMS connectivity is basically um, allowing IMS customers and users to be able to connect to IMS. So a lot of our customers have a you know very important business applications uh, and data running on IMS. And now with the whole you know new technologies coming on board they have the need to be able to access the existing transaction and data running on, you know, on the IMS system. Those are very, very important um, business applications and data. So IMS connectivity is pretty much a suite of solutions that we provide to our customers to allow them to connect to IMS first you know, different technology, you know, like TCP IP, SOAP, and you name it. SOA is very important to our customers. Um, in the in the in today's world, um, businesses and enterprises is not going to use a single solution for their applications and you know for for the application infrastructure. They have a lot of different uh, types of servers. The application may be building from different platforms, um, and through acquisitions and you know mergers and buying other technologies or off the shelf um, application. They have, they have a need to integrate all these applications and data together. And that's what SOA is going to help them. You know, SOA allow them to have the applications talking into, in, with each other regardless of whether, you know, where it's running from, what kind of technology is being built. So um, SOA really provide the uh, application and communication infrastructure to allow them to have the applications to integrate with each other. So for our IMS users, that's very important because um, they have a lot of very important application data running IMS today. So uh, with SOA solutions uh, for IMS users, customer can access the existing and transaction data from other platforms, from other application server uh, seamlessly without help, without them to the need for migrating the application or rewriting application. So we really help them help IMS customer to modernize their existing application. Um, so today IMS provides a suite of um, um, integration uh, components that is part of IMS uh, that the customer can use. So uh, for um, for accessing IMS TM, uh, what we provide today is uh, five five key solutions to allow our customers to access to existing IMS transaction. These transactions could be COBOL, could be PL1, could be MFSC or Java applications. One of the key things we what we try to achieve is we don't uh, we don't need the customer to rewrite um, the application IMS application itself. Uh, what we provide them is this enablement component or enablement solution that customer can add on uh, with the, the the application infrastructure to allow them to easily access uh, these IMS um, transaction. So uh, some of these solutions that we provide, for example, like IMS Connect API, it is a API uh, that customer can write, allow customer to write Java or C application to access an IMS existing IMS transaction. We also provide solutions like IMS Sub Gateway that allow customer that are interested in the web services or SOA environment to be able to have web service client to talk SOAP HTTP to access an IMS transaction without a change. Um, we also provide a number of solutions that is built on top of our the IBM Web3 application server. For example, like the IMS TM resource adapter, it is a JC compliant uh, resource adapter that customer can plug in into the Java E environment and build um, Java application. Could be you know EJB, could be servlet, uh, could be just plain you know Pojo Java application to access the IMS transactions. We have extended solutions for MFS as well. You know, with MFS, we have to um, uh, manage both uh, existing screen layout as well as the backend messages and transaction. So our extended solution with IMS MFS web solution can help the customers to reuse and leverage existing MFS transaction. Finally, we also in the space for Web 2.0 and MeshUp. So with the IMS Web 2.0 solution, a uh, customer can create um, feeds and um, you know doing MeshUp Hub to allow them to uh, integrate their applications, uh, IMS transactions with a, a Web 2.0 um, you know based application.